we will always stand up for Canadians' fundamental rights. Um, this is a principle that this government has. Defending Canadians' rights and freedoms is something I have never backed off on it. Justin Trudeau claiming to be a defender of fundamental freedoms. Yeah, he said that with a straight face. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. The Prime Minister has been speaking a lot about the Charter of Rights and Freedoms lately. No, he's not denouncing Pierre Polyev for saying he stands up for freedom. Now Trudeau's embracing it. Well, his view of it anyway. Last week, he gave an interview to Joël Denis Bellevance at the press. Um, he talked about the need for sending a Supreme Court reference, uh, which would be asking the Supreme Court, can you find a way to tell the provinces they can't use the notwithstanding clause the way they're doing? Now, the courts have previously found in the Ford versus Quebec decision back in the 80s that there is no way to do this. Trudeau and his justice minister would know that, but they're hoping that the court will change its mind from a unanimous decision that's more than 30 years old. That's their hope. In the meantime, Trudeau, when he was asked about this issue on Monday in Toronto, decided to pose as the charter's great defender. Not aimed at the provinces or even at one province specifically. It's a principle that this government stands by. I will always defend people's fundamental rights and freedoms. That's something that is understood and expected even by my provincial counterparts. But as I've de demonstrated many times, we're also able to work together on areas we agree, whether it be on economic investments and growth or whether it be on health care. Trudeau and the Liberals love to portray themselves as defenders of the Charter. They love to make it sound as if they are the only ones that will stand up for it. I guess we're going to forget the entire Emergencies Act scenario. The federal government invoked the Emergencies Act. It was the responsible and necessary thing to do. Now, I know the Liberals like to say the Emergencies Act did not suspend any civil liberties. It didn't uh, suspend any fundamental freedoms. That's balderdash. You know that. I know that. It was right in the legislation and the regulations that went with it. You weren't allowed to protest at certain places, travel to certain areas were restricted. Those are charter rights, and they were suspended, not just for the people protesting, but for everybody. You couldn't have gone to Parliament to start a new protest about something the government was doing. They made that illegal. That is a suspension of charter rights, just as it was a suspension of charter rights when they decided that they would invoke a vaccine mandate that said you couldn't travel by plane, train, or boat. That would have been found as a you know a infringement of charter rights if it had gone to court, but just before it was about to get to court, the federal government dropped it, and they didn't want it to be tested in court. This is Justin Trudeau trying to have it both ways. He wants to portray premiers, especially conservative premiers, as villains who don't support the charter while posing himself as someone who always does. That's clearly not the case. Justin Trudeau knows it. It's time that others in the media, other than myself and my colleagues at The Sun, started calling him out on it. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.